Here we are guys, we're in the Rainforest Boardwalk on our Let's Go Buggin Night Walk. It's always really interesting to come in here at night. We can hear all the different sounds in the rainforest, crickets and frogs, and we never know quite what we're going to see, so come and check it out. Yes, we do see spiders on our Let's Go Buggin night walk in the Cairns Botanic Gardens. But I'm asking you to watch this with an open mind and you will see that these spiders are beautiful, they're very chilled out and they're just doing their own thing. We also see all sorts of beetles and other nocturnal insects, snails, lizards and of course all sorts of species of frogs. So enjoy this little mini doco I've made for you to show you all about a Let's Go Bucket night walk. Alright, come on guys, so we're going to head to my favourite spot in the whole rainforest boardwalk. It's called Bug Alley. And I call it that because there's so many critters in there. I can find frogs and crickets and all sorts of stuff. Weevils, spiders, huntsmen, all sorts of stuff. So come and we'll see what we've got in Bug Alley tonight. In the same um, family as the water spiders under here, but this one's got an egg. Um, actually, lots of them have got eggs at the moment. It must be spider breeding season. And I think the guys have got a longicorn beetle over there. Is that, yeah. is that one as well? <laughs> it was cute. We've got a beautiful stick insect here. We see these from time to time. He's sitting perfectly on the leaf there. Beautiful antenna. We've got a very lucky huntsman spider here and he's feasting on a wasp for dinner. found a net casting spider so these guys are absolutely amazing and what they do is they create a type of fishing net with their web with their silk and uh, they they form the net and they put it in their front two legs sets of legs and they're an ambush predator and they wait for something to walk underneath and they will actually expand the web and catch the prey and then bring it up to them. One of the most intelligent spiders, it's called a Porsche jumping spider. I think this is the case. This tiny Porsche jumping spider attacked this much larger spider that was invading her space. We watched while she waited patiently for her venom to take effect on the spider. She then walked across her web and detached it and the spider fell to the ground. All these cicadas guys so these have all started to come out just in the last few weeks yeah it's a beautiful cicada freshly emerged still hanging on to its shell
Sing Crickets. They've got some really amazing patterns. We've seen lots of different spiders. Oh wow, there's so much to see. Um, I'm up for any spiders. Night just brings out so many other things. I um, just love seeing it all, daytime, nighttime. It's all great. Just, just being out of nature, they can't beat it. Yeah. I love it, that's why I love you. We've got a beautiful golden orb female here. She's only about half grown, and but she does have a male on her web. How they get their name, Golden Orb, is you can see the gold on her web. So this is the female. The female's always bigger. And this is the male. And they tend to hang on the outskirts of the web. So Pablo, you've been spending a lot of time out on the Great Barrier Reef because you're an underwater photographer and a marine biologist. So can you tell us about what you think about coming into the rainforest? I mean, I love the rainforest almost as much as I love the Great Barrier Reef and it's difficult to say that because uh, I'm in love with the reef but we have such an incredible rainforest and the oldest rainforest of the planet is our yep. backyard very and true no one else can say that around the world and it's really connected with the Great Barrier Reef so yep. they depend on each other have you ever come in here at night yeah a few times and I live like five minutes walking in that direction, yeah. but not as much as I should. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And what have you seen tonight that you've really enjoyed to see? Something I haven't seen when I come here by myself, so it's really valuable to come with you and, and learn about all the insects, all the bags, you know. Yeah. You just hear a, a sound of a frog and you know which frog it is, and I'm like, what? We've been seeing a, a beautiful big huntsman spider on this tree lately. Oh, there she is. We've got a beautiful huntsman spider here. Quite a decent size. So Harley, what's your favourite thing to see on a night walk? Definitely longy corn beetles and green tree frogs. What do you like about longy corn beetles? Just their characteristics and they're very furry and their long antennas. Yeah. yeah very cool. Yeah. Very different. You learn something different every time and it's always a new experience no matter how many times you go. Again, yeah. again, there's always something different to see. It's a crab. It's a brand new crab. <laughs> So here in the rainforest we've got lots of frogs and one in particular which is absolutely gorgeous are these dwarf tree frogs and they're only tiny, they only get to about two, two and a half centimetres long. This is our white lit tree frog. They're Australia's largest tree frog. And they just are fantastic models. They're so chilled out, just sitting here and posing perfectly while we get in there with our cameras and they're just smiling away. Gorgeous. There you go guys, there's a night walk with Let's Go Buggin'. So if you're curious about coming on a night walk, head to the website now, aussiemacrophotos.com and book a night walk with Let's Go Buggin'.